Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? We're again going to continue our turnaround series in which we pick a character to draw from different angles and create a basic model sheet of that character. If you've been with me, then you know we've concentrated on some of the more well-known characters from the various places you find cartoons. We're going to continue along that line of thinking as today we're going to draw Pikachu, one of the icons of the gaming and anime world. If you're familiar with this cute little character, then you know early on on, Pikachu's body started off as sort of a nondescript ball shape. He later evolved into having more of a slimmer waist and more defined neck and face. This change happened when Pokemon jumped from being a game to being an animated series. Giving Pikachu a more articulatable body made it easier to animate the character, as well as making him more interesting to look at. This is similar to what happened with Garfield. Early on in the comic strip, Garfield was basically a lump who didn't move much. In order to animate the grumpy cat, they needed to get him up on two legs and moving. Thus, the drastic change in Garfield's look. Anyway, before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw our character turnaround of our chubby electric mouse-like thing, Pikachu. <laughs> We're going to draw our Pikachu turnaround step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. Pikachu is about two heads tall. In other words, however tall his head is, not counting his ears, his entire body is about two of those. One last thing. You'll notice in the second drawing we do of Pikachu, which is the three quarters angle, that he's longer or taller than the others. That's because we're getting him moving, jumping up in that version. He's in mid-springing motion, so his body is elongated as he's lifting upward. I just wanted to point that out. Okay, so let's draw the roadmap for our turnaround of Pikachu. So there's our roadmap for our Pikachu turnaround. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help you to know where to put Pikachu's eyes, nose, mouth, and those cheek circles. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. So let's rough out the features of our Pikachu turnaround.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features of our Pikachu turnaround. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details of our Pikachu turnaround. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. In this step, it's okay to draw it darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. You want to always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. So let's draw in the details for our Pikachu turnaround. That's how you do it. There it is, our turnaround of one of the most well-known video game and anime characters of all time, Pikachu. So how do you think you did? Understand if you've never drawn Pikachu before, let alone a turnaround of him, then you can't expect to have drawn him perfectly. You'll notice I don't spend time coloring Pikachu during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing the turnaround of Pikachu. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series, where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your turn around drawing a Pikachu. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag Level Up Cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe, and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing, my friends.